Hello everyone, this is Josh from PassionOfThePaychecks.com and in this video I'm going to be covering how to use and how to best utilize Amazon Best Sellers List to help you uh, generate some ideas for your product for your Amazon to sell on Amazon. Um, I know that it can be kind of a tough idea, like it's tough it's tough to come up with your own ideas just off the top of your head with what products you should sell so one of the best things that I suggest you guys check out is Amazon Best Sellers List. Here, you can go through each one of these cat, um, departments or categories here on Amazon and see the top selling items in each category. And you can dig really deep into subcategories and find the top selling things within each subcategory as well. So, the, I, I really like Amazon um, Best Sellers List because one, you get to see um, info straight from the source. You get to see exactly what is and what isn't selling from Amazon. You get to see what types of products are selling, um, the type of reviews they're getting, and just overall, just everything you need from here. So, um, this is definitely my first choice for you, for anyone looking to generate some ideas for a product. Is to head on over to Amazon Best Sellers, and you will ha be greeted with this screen right here, where you can go through each one of these um, categories. So, let's just hop right into it and get looking at just show you guys my general process and my flow and how I go about. Um, navigating Amazon to find some product ideas. So just to get started, um, I noted this in the article, so if you haven't read it, there's some departments or categories that I would like to stay away from, such as, I mean, just to run through it really quick, appliances, because you don't want to have to compete with LG and Samsung and, and uh, things like that with selling washers and dryers and and dishwashers. So obviously we're not going to be selling any of that, so stay away from appliances, app store, we're not making apps. Um, Books, we're not making any books here. Uh, electronics, we stay away from that. Gift cards, I mean, you guys can just kind of tell, just common sense. We're not going to be selling anything in movies and TV, music, magazines, MB3 downloads. We're not selling any of that crap. What we're doing is just sticking to some generic, basic products that we can outsource to China and sell on Amazon. So just keep that in mind when you're going through these pro uh, categories. The, so let's just look at a category and try to dig deep and just try to find some product ideas within a certain category. So first off, let's just look at beauty. Actually, I feel like that's really overdone. Let's come down here and look at um, home and kitchen. So once you click on home and kitchen, you'll be greeted with the screen right here. It says best sellers in home and kitchen. From here, you can see the, um, the best selling products on Amazon in the uh, home and kitchen category. This is a very high level category. As you can see right here, you can dig deeper within the home and kitchen with all of these ca subcategories right here. Um, so what I also like to do, this is usually still too high of a, of a category. I like to dig a little bit deeper because this is going to be really um, competitive stuff right here. But you can definitely scroll through here and get some ideas if you wanted to. I mean, just looking at it right here, um, Let's just go through a couple of these products just to explain why or why not. We will just pass on them. Brita Water Filter, no, brand name. Weber, brand name. Ninja Master Prep Professional, not something we'd make. I mean, as you guys can just see, we're not going to be making any of this stuff. Blender Bottle Classic right here. This is something that we could outsource to China very easily. Um, I've seen Blender Bottle around a lot of times. It has over 8,000 reviews. Probably some high level competition right here so we might want to stay away from here from this thing but as you can see this definitely is something we could make in China and sell on Amazon for ourselves um, definitely a good idea um, right here enter design mildew free um, cow uh, shower curtain this is definitely another good thing that we could think about selling because um, it's easy to make it's lightweight it fits all the requirements more than likely at least um, at quick at a quick glance it fits them so that's a good idea. So when I th when I'm thinking of ideas to get to uh, to sell, I just will click on here, check it out, copy the URL to the product listing, come over here, paste it in a um, notepad, and then go back. And then I just like to keep this notepad full of um, possible product ideas as I go as I'm going through. So we keep looking through here. Um, let's see. We can go to the next one really quick, just a quick get a. Good grips bottle brush. That could be interesting. So I mean, just we're not doing too much uh, researching right now on the individual products. We're just getting some basic ideas for us to look at later. So we'll paste that in there. Let's see, classic zester grater could be something we could think about doing. I mean, as you guys see, I'm just looking through here and something that. 
I'm looking for products that we could easily outsource to China as well as um, something that is not dominated by brand name. So those are just the two quick checks I do. Um, it's a sale price above 10 bucks is another good thing I'd like to look at. Um, so this is good. So we have about three products already that we can take a look at later on and, pa and run them through the requirements to see if they do pass as a good or bad product that we can move on with. So what I like to go through through this process is get a bunch of products and once I have a bunch of products run all those products through um, each of the requirements and sort them by um, and basically just cut down the list to, to only the products that we like and fit all the requirements. So let's just show, so this is like I said the very top level best sellers in the home and kitchen. Let's dig a little bit deeper and find some more, uh, let's find some more um, products. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. Let's go to, um, let's see, what should we go to? We'll go to kitchen and, actually we'll go, yeah, we'll go to kitchen and dining category. So it says best sellers in kitchen and dining. As you guys can see, it opens up even more subcategories within the kitchen and dining category, which is within the home and kitchen category. So this is definitely three categories deep right here and gives you a lot and lot of um, potential products that we can take a look at. So as we just take a quick look through these things, let's just dig. Let's just dig even deeper. Let's just try to get really deep and narrow into this category. Let's see. Let's take a look at. Um, we'll look at cutlery and knife. Uh, no, we'll look at what could be a good one. I mean, when I'm researching this, I will go through each and every single one of these and look through them until I find something that could be interesting. Let's just go to bakeware, the very first one. Interesting. So, artisan nonstick silicone baking mats. Is this something that we could easily, easily outsource to China? Absolutely. Is this a good price? Absolutely. Is this selling well? Absolutely. So, um, this is definitely something that we could think about keeping. Another thing I like to um, look at to see if it fits as a good product or not is come down here to the Amazon Best Sellers rank. As you guys can see, it's number 28 in kitchen dining, which is very, very, very good. Number one in baking mats and number 11 in kitchen utensils and gadgets. So um, when you're looking at products, definitely come down here and look at the Amazon Best Seller rankings to determine if this is a good product that you can pursue or not. So definitely something good right here. We can take a look at later. Come in, paste it in there, and then go on to the, what is this, oops, then go on to the next one, let's see, Pyrex, no, Baker Secret, Multipurpose Stainless, what is this, Stainless, Scrapper, Scraper Chopper, interesting, that could be something, um, just go to the next page. As you guys can see, I'm just looking through Old Stone Oven. What is this? Old Stone Oven Baking Stone. Interesting. I've never heard of that. This could be something that we like. 45 bucks. That's a lot of money. This must be made out of some high quality material. I wonder what it's made out of. Huh, I'm not sure. Well, go down here. 380 in kitchen and dining, which is which is means that this is selling a lot, a lot of units each day. So we'll, this is definitely something we could take a look at a little bit later and run it through our requirements and see how it stacks up. Let's go back. And you guys look over here. I clicked once I clicked in bakeware right here. Look at all the new subcategories that opened up under bakeware. You can see that we can really dig extremely deep into each category and uh, get really into each different department on Amazon and to find some hidden products that we would not be able to find otherwise. It also gives us some great ideas that we could think about and um, possibly do as well. So we're just looking through them, seeing if we can find anything. Um, what's this? Sun Mighty Pops Popsicle Molds. Interesting. Fits the price, very easily made, more than likely. Um, lightweight, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, eight ounces. One thousand one hundred and one in kitchen and dining, which means it's it's selling well. It's selling a lot of quite a bit of units. So once again, guys, we're look we're always going to be looking right here. This is a really big um, 
really big factor in if we're going to pursue this type of product or not because if this product is selling well right here as we can, as we can see if we make this go to China and make this product ourselves if we get to the number one selling mighty pops if we get the number one selling uh, what is this called a popsicle mold if we are the number one seller popsicle mold we will at least be um, right here in the ranking we'll, we'll at least take over their rankings and if not sell more so this is kind of our gold standard if you will of a product if we can get into this product and sell as much as these people we will definitely have enough there's enough product demand in this market to make a good amount of money so that's a really something that I like to look at before I um, continue on or before I even add it to my potential product list right here <clears throat> so let's go back so that's a pretty good pretty good one as you see baking mats again um, old stone looks like an oven stone thing again silicone spatula something we could we could think about doing air bake natural two pack cookie sheet something what we could do looks pretty simple um let's just check out the seller ranking it's good remember guys we like to see stuff below 5000 in the in the seller ranking right here in the main kitchen dining category um 5000 or below 2000 below is even better so the, um so this definitely fits within that range which means it's selling enough for us to possibly pursue it later on if it fa passes all the other requirements so we'll put that in there so guys this is basically just my general process i will um, keep going through each one of these once I get to the hundred um, hundredth product right here we can continue on we go back to kitchen and dining and we'll go to coffee tea and espresso and do the, exactly the same thing and go through all hundred of them another thing you can do you can dig even deeper coffee espresso machine parts and accessories dig even deeper and go in here but as you dig deeper into the categories let's just see coffee machine esp espresso right here let's click on it even though this probably Let's see. I'm trying to find this. So yeah, so this is actually really popular. Let's try to find something. Let's go back to kitchen and dining. Let's go back to bakeware where we're at. Um, let's see. Let's go to bakers and casseroles. And is there something? And as you start to dig deeper into the categories, you f you start to find less and less demand for the product. So as you start to target in and these very very specific products like lasagna pan, that's a very specific product. As you start to narrow in on here, we can we will see that the the best seller ranking right here starts to rise once we start to dig deeper into each individual category. So keep that in mind as you dig deep, because at some point you're going to dig too deep where there's not enough demand for the product to even make it worthy of you to keep pursuing. So I would I would try to stay out of these really really specific categories, but you can definitely stay within this category right here and maybe even one more right, um, even one more category. So what is that? Three levels deep. So we have the home and kitchen which is one level kitchen and dining, second level bake or third level. So third to fourth level category is probably where I'd stay around. I wouldn't go any deeper in that because you're going to find there isn't as much demand for the products within those categories. You can if you want just for ideas and just maybe find some gems that a lot of people passed up while doing the research process. Um, but I would generally say stay within three to four levels deep of the categories and you should be good. Um, so that's basically just what I do. This is how I, this is how I use Amazon. I just go through all of these... Uh, I go through each one of these categories, click on it, dig deep into another category, and then I just start looking through it until I come up with a full list of possible ideas that I can um, run through the requirements and check to see if they pass the requirements to move on to the next step of the process. So this is just a quick little video I want to put together for you guys on how I utilize Amazon. And hopefully this was helpful just to show you my overall general process um, and my general my general flow of things when I go on Amazon and use it to try to find more product ideas. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, again, guys, this is this is just one way that you can find ideas. This is how I per, this preferably this is how I do it. It's easy, quick, um, and it gets right to the point. There's other ways that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on in the article, but this is probably my favorite way. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully this was helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video because I'm sure there's going to be more videos that will explain how to find better ideas as well. Um, 
but not just with Amazon, but with other things as well. So, um, see you guys in the next video, um, and thank you for watching.